In Grimsby, the drunk driver found dozing at the wheel of his car has made it to the police station without being sick or falling asleep again. Seen by a witness to pull up at the giveaway lines at Convermore Road and then sit there. And when we actually pulled up alongside beside him, he was asleep in the vehicle and the witness had taken the keys out of the ignition. When we were booking him in, it was a case of, uh, we've got a duty of care, we, he can't be injured whilst he's in our care. He was clearly incapable of holding himself up and I, I just had to assume the role of supporting him. Just shocking what people, what state people think they can drive in. The man has a few more important procedures to get through before he can call it a day. Now keep going. And we put him on the substantive device at the police station, which is a much bigger machine but gives an accurate reading of the alcohol in the breath sample that they provide. Deep breath. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. A reading of 35 on the machine will confirm the man is over the legal drink drive limit. All right, stop a minute. Set. He's blown 207. 207? 207. Legal limit's 35. 207 micrograms of alcohol in 100 millilitres of uh, breath. Just blow steadily. The cops have to get two readings within three minutes. They have one, but time has run out for the other. And leave for him, as he will now be charged with failing to provide a specimen for analysis and the magistrate who eventually presides over his case will never know just how much he had drunk. You don't get any more goes now, Chris, that's it. No, no. That'll take him best part of till tomorrow to come down so he can be charged. We're getting back tomorrow when we come on online. I was just amazed. I'd, I'd never seen anything anywhere near as high as that. I didn't think it was possible for a human to be alive with that much alcohol floating around them. Back through to the charge room, Chris. I can understand why you're struggling now. Right. Drunk. Uh, I'm not drunk. You're not drunk. You're not drunk. Even for the experienced PC Kapka, the reading came as a shock. I've never had as high a reading as that in my entire career. You sit down there, Chris. Sit on there. So I've done nothing wrong, You've done a lot wrong, mate. You've had too much to drink. The government intends cutting the drunk drive limit by nearly half, but even that may not deter people like Chris. I think we should have a policy whereby if you drink, you don't drive at all. Because even one pint these days can actually affect your driving without you actually knowing about it. He's obviously got an alcohol problem. We were lucky that day that nobody got killed. Back in Hull, the scooter passenger has managed to get the bike to stay upright on its own before scarpering. Your friend hasn't uh, stayed around? No, she... It's no, all that exciting, you see. That's what I mean, she... I'll catch her up. Mm -hmm. It's all right, because there'll be trouble about this because of me being stopped on it, it's going to cause murders. A bit trouble, eh? Hey? It's a bit severe. Once we confirmed who she was, we then, uh, she was then reported for all the uh, traffic offences that she'd committed. The bike was, was seized. Can I take my bike off? Because it does my push bike as well. Can I take my bike off? Because that's for my push bike. And she was allowed to uh, continue the rest of her journey yeah, walking. It's the first time I've ever rode it. And the city gentleman here saved my life. Totally saved my life. Another satisfied customer. <laughs> Thanks, gentlemen. More and more these days, the police are relying on CCTV to be their eyes of the law. Outside a shop on a Grimsby estate, some boys on bikes have been caught on camera, circling menacingly around a park delivery van. The opportunist thieves have been tempted by a large parcel they've spotted left on the front seat. Their curiosity to know what's in it has got the better of them. 
much to the despair of the owner. But they haven't taken into account the nearby camera that's been watching them, or the one in the sky in Oscar 99. You can remain where you are. Uh, I still haven't been able to uh, do as you requested. You can't contact. Next one, Oscar 99. Can I come in? On the ground, husband and wife team, PCs Peter and Rachel Mills, have responded to the control room's call. Let's tell them off from the other road. We were just on general patrol, monitoring the radio, and this incident came in that was a theft from a motor vehicle in progress. It's one of our major uh, crimes in this particular area at the moment, theft uh, from motor vehicles. The Oscar 99's above now, so... Suspects. Yeah, 99, we've got one with a black top on, one with a light-coloured top. He's put a box into his pocket. Looks like they're going into a house. With its camera on maximum zoom, the lad with the mystery package is still unaware of the police chopper above and thinks he's home and dry. Is that in there? Not the one, not the one, Rage. No, no, my point is, they went into that house there, the cyclist. Yeah, they went into that house. The boys in the house are being brought outside to see if the culprits can be identified by the helicopter crew. But there's a problem. Yeah, Oscar 99, it looks like they've been swapping tops there. Uh, we might have to play the video back to get these. Oscar 99 at that stage was struggling, yet you can hear it on the radio message. They couldn't positively identify it. Wait one, I'll check with the camera operator. I've been reading maps. Wait one over. The initial identification was based on clothing, so you can appreciate if people are swapping clothing when they come out of the house. Do the, do the favour, mate. Can you, can you just come join us here? All right. Can you just come join here? All right. Rachel went into the house, um, did a search, and a box was found. Do we have a, uh, an informant? And can we clarify that? That's what's been stolen, please. Can't confirm, can at the moment? Basically, there's been an incident in this area, OK, which we're investigating. We can't tell you too much, but the alleged offenders have allegedly gone into this house here. So that's why we're just speaking to all the people who are involved, all right? I'm not involved. Inquiries were made at the scene where they were arrested and at the location where the offence took place. Two of the offenders. 